I'm back. It's great to have a few days off every now and then, just to chill out, hit the reset switch. Last week was one of them weeks, it was half term, so I had the week off to look after Charlotte, so didn't vlog very much, but I'm back now, it's Monday, I've already done my first two calls, first one was a, a power supply issue on a 3635, second one was a, a screen fault, so I had to replace the scanner. I'm now going to go find out what else is in for today, why don't you sit back and enjoy the Saturday knock footage then I want to talk to you uh, a bit about my game at the weekend and about what's happened on the world tours as well so stay tuned for that So that was the footage from the Saturday knock. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it was really windy that day, like ridiculously windy. Um, so I struggled massively, but I'll talk to you a bit more about that in a second. Um, I'm currently sat outside stores. Uh, I managed to pick up another call, uh, which was a DWP in mechanic that needs a fuser so I had to come and pick up a fuser so I'm going to be heading back over there shortly so that's work done for today um, done that third call was just the fuser like I said so yeah 
my golf the weekend was rubbish by far the worst round of golf i've had in a long time now i've always struggled in the wind which is a big problem living in the uk but i'm struggling to get off the tee which is now turning in to a real issue it doesn't matter whether i hit driver three wood rescue can't hit any of them everything's out the heel i'm not sure if i'm stood too close to the ball stood too far away from the ball i've started to come over the top i don't know what's going on so it looks like i am going to have to seek some form of professional help to get that back on track which poses another problem in that the back end of last year i put a video up ranting about slow play and probably upset a lot of pros if any of them have actually watched this video um with some of my comments regarding how i think they could improve slow play so it could be an interesting one as to whether or not uh they're going to want to teach me but i suppose i'll only find out by trying so anyway on to what happened in the rest of the world of golf this weekend and to be honest i only really paid attention to the pga tour which was won by ricky fowler now i think this is great uh ricky fowler is probably the one that brings more kids into the game you know obviously you got ricky uh, ricky rory McIlroy, dustin johnson uh the Aussie, I can't think of his name, not Adam Scott, Jason Day, and Adam Scott that have won majors the last few years, Justin Rose in Paul, you know, they all grow the game. But Ricky, when he first came out on tour, wore bright orange trousers, bright orange tops, had a bright orange driver, you know, was really the one that young, young kids were... Were sort of seeking out the autograph for so it's really good that he's managed to get back into the winner's circle again hopefully he can he can kick on from that and have a good year in the majors you know a couple of years ago he was the only player to finish in the top five in all four majors i think but never actually got over the line and won one so it'd be nice to see him up there again competing and you know challenging for the big titles like i say that's the only golf i really paid attention to this weekend so i don't really know what else happened um so sorry about that but yeah congratulations ricky well done great win kick on and go get a major now all right that's about gonna do it today thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel follow me on all my other social media platforms i'm trying to get back to vlogging every day but i'm not sure it's gonna happen so stay with me and i'll see you tomorrow